is a hot mess. You know, this is why you can't wear braids because somehow it just looks like you could be doing nothing at all and then you look up and then it's like, phew, like you, you just went through like a, a wind tunnel or something. That's crazy. This is, this is from no, I didn't go to the gym. I mean, this is like, how does this happen? Nuts. Hey, it's Vanessa from Streamate. In this video, we will be talking about how to start your stream on Streamate using SM Broadcast, as well as a bonus how to troubleshoot any potential issues that you might come across. So, right this way. So, I am currently logged into my Streamate account. Um, I actually don't have it all the way expanded, but here it is right here. This is my Streamate dashboard. So, if I'm going to be going live on Streamate using our SM Broadcast encoder, then you'll just simply need to open up the program and sign in where prompted. Okay, and I will then need to select the appropriate webcam and audio source. So I always try to use the external audio source. So in this case, I'm using the one on my actual webcam and just make sure that the correct webcam has been chosen as well. Once you've done that, then click OK. Hey everyone. Okay, so this is what the interface looks like on SM Broadcast. Anytime that you are using SM Broadcast on Streamate, then you actually won't be able to see your video in your Streamate chat interface. You'll only be able to see your video. Oh God, goodness, it's hot, it's been a long day. Don't judge. Um, then you'll only be able to see your video from SM Broadcast. So I'll show you here momentarily how you can strategically um, position your, both SM Broadcast and your Streamate chat interface so you're able to see what's going on on both ends. Some people don't really need to see their video, you know, they're just, they're cool like that, but you know, you always want to check yourself, make sure you look good and you know, you got the right angles and there's nothing weird going on with your video feeds. So I, I do recommend always having your video feed pull up, pulled up just so you can always keep tabs on what's going on. Okay, so this is kind of the default right here. You have your video here, and then you have your stream health, as well as your AV settings. So I've made sure to, under my video source and audio source, I've already taken care of making sure that those two devices are what I want to use for both video and audio. So that's good. Um, you'll see a green optimize button here. Basically, you want to make sure to optimize every once in a while. I'd say don't go too far out. I know that's a habit and sometimes it's like, oh, I don't really want to or you just kind of forget. But I'd say definitely don't go longer than like a month without optimizing. If at all possible, try to do it every week, especially if you're a performer that actually travels around, you use different like Wi-Fi connections at hotels, it's definitely important to optimize to make sure that you ha are using the most efficient settings for your live stream. Okay, so we're gonna skip to optimization for now since I just did it earlier today. Um, currently, I have selected the 1280 by 720 resolution, so HD wide. Um, the wide is referenced by the 16 by 9 aspect ratio here. I know that's like kind of technical, but keep that in mind, especially if you are using just a more of a standard HD cam. My cam in particular is capable of both wide and HD. So it's just the appropriate fit for, for what I have going on here. Then frame rate is currently set to 60 frames per second. And my target bit rate is at 5103 kbps. So this was all kind of auto configured according to what happened during the optimization process whenever I ran it earlier today. So if you ever need to tweak anything, then you can actually manually do it from here. So I clicked on resolution and within the drop down menu, you'll have several options. So um, it's kind of across the board and you might just be like, I don't really know what to what to select. So just know that 640 by 480 is kind of like the standard basic HD. Um, and it's compatible, I believe, with most HD webcams. So that's kind of the go-to if you're, maybe you don't think that you, like you have older equipment and maybe you don't think that 
you know, it, it'll work out by streaming at a higher video um, quality or a higher resolution. So I'd say if you ever need to adjust, then you can adjust down comfortably to like 640 by 480. Um, and it still should, you know, work just fine and appear fine on, on the Streamate side as well as appear as you being in HD, which is very important for placement. So once I say, for instance, if I did click 640 by 480, then you'll see that the frame rate and the target bit rate auto adjusted with that. So those settings accompany my chosen video uh, resolution, but I'm going to go back up to 1280 by 720 just to see what it does during our live stream here. Okay, so I'm gonna X out of this for now, the AV setting, since I have everything the way I want it. And I'm going to keep the stream health open for now, just so I can keep tabs of what's going on. So you can see my CPU usage is a little high right now. Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of like dancing on that line. You want it to be, your CPU usage, you want it to be as low as possible. So basically, uh, your CPU usage, as it appears here, is a direct reflection of like how everything is working as far as your equipment, um, as well as like your webcam, how that's all working during your live stream or while you have the program running. So you can see it's a little on the high side just for not, me not even actually streaming yet. So we're gonna keep an eye out on that um, as we begin the streaming process. Okay. The next recommendation I would say is if you are one of those people that likes to watch your, your own video feed, which I do recommend, especially if you're newer, um, go to the add widget section and then click on the video input option. So you'll see here that video input widget popped up just now. And so what you can do and what's super nifty is you can detach it and you can expand it so that you can actually see your video feed a little bit more easily and it's a little more maneuverable. So um, now that I have that all set, I'm gonna actually X out of that for now. Oh, X out. Then I'm actually ready to start my show now that everything is configured. So I'm going to go back to my Streammate uh, dashboard and click the green Start My Show button. And from there, it's going to take me to my Streamate chat interface. So we're not live yet. Nothing is happening here. First thing that you want to do once you get to your chat interface is click the quality drop-down menu and select SM Broadcast, since that is the encoder that we are using and that's the quality that we want. Using SM Broadcast will always get you preferred placement on Streamate so long as you're using it successfully. This is compared to models who are not using any encoder, they're not streaming in, in HD, so you're always going to get preferred placement so long as you are streaming successfully using SM Broadcast. So we want to do that today. Also, be sure to check whether you want ch uh, classic chat or party chat. So basically the main difference between these two types of chat is that with party chat, any members that are in your room will be able to see what the other members are saying or viewers, whereas in classic chat, they will not. So um, I wanna do party chat. I want it to be a little more social today. So let's do that. Um, and then click start my show in your Streamate chat interface and then go back to SM Broadcast and click start show there as well. So only after you click start show in SM Broadcast will you actually be live on Streamate. So I'm live now actually. Um, so remember how I said I'm going to be keeping an eye on my CPU usage? Well, now that I've started my stream, you can see that it's starting to climb a little bit. It's currently at 58. It, we started around like 32, 33%. So that's not a good indication. So um, what I may have to do so that it this doesn't completely kill my whole live stream is make some adjustments. So we're going to do add widget and click AV settings once again. Okay, so we're going to have to stop our stream and adjust some things. So let's stop it now. And you can see that I stopped it within SM Broadcast and that it automatically stopped my stream as well on the Streamate chat interface end, which is great. You don't have to do anything else. Okay, 
So in order to fix this little problem that we're having right now with my high CPU usage, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to downgrade myself to the how we were talking about the 640 by 480. I'm just going to go ahead and jump down and try that. Those settings for my resolution. Okay, so you can see that how that changed things a little bit, right? Compared to the 1280 by 720. So that's 1280 by 720, and this is what 640 by 480 looks like. Okay, there's a little bit of a difference. It's not as good of quality. It's not like widescreen oriented, but we want to make sure that we have no problems, no interruptions, no lagging, um, and having a high CPU usage can actually cause that with your stream. It can cause interruptions, especially that's frustrating on both your end and your your viewers end. So let's just go ahead and, and nip that in the bud right now. So you can see that it auto-adjusted my frame rate for me, so down to 30 frames per second, and my target bit rate is now at 850 kbps. So you can see that my CPU usage as well has actually lowered a bit. So that's a huge sign right there that maybe we're moving in the right direction for this. All right, it's all about you know finding out what works for you. So sometimes it's not always gonna work on the first try. Also, if you get used to doing things a certain way, if you always have your settings a certain way, and then somehow, like maybe the internet, you know, the weather is weird and like your internet connection isn't as good or just something happens, you're, you're moving around, you, you go to a, a different place with a different uh, internet connection, Wi-Fi connection, that can change things. So always be flexible, um, you know, re-optimize as needed. That's one thing that you can do. And if, if necessary, then just um, consider lowering your resolution and that should fix any issues that you do have or prevent any potential issues during streaming. Okay, so now we're going to try these new settings and see how that works. So I'm going to go back to my Streamate chat interface. Okay. <clears throat> And I'm going to start my show again from Streamate and then go back to SM Broadcast and start my show. Okay, and we are back live. So I'm keeping an eye once again on my CPU usage. It's not as high as it was earlier, but it's still a little, you know, it's kind of on that slippery slope right on, the, right on the border there. But I'd say that we're doing a lot better than we were just a moment ago even. So sometimes just give it a few minutes, let everything like adjust um, and, and, and then just take it from there as far as if you need to adjust again. So actually these settings look like they might be working pretty well. Just for the record too, I am using a MacBook Pro with a quad core i7 processor. So it, however, it only has eight gigs of RAM on it. So it's not the most, I mean, that's even like I think it's less than some phones these days. Kind of crazy, but with as much video content and stuff that I do, it I, and I'm I'm terrible. I'm the first to admit I'm like really really bad at backing up and getting rid of like clearing out things. So don't be like me. Don't be like me. Make sure you back your things up. <laughs> your content. Also, make sure that you are not running multiple programs that are not needed while you are also live streaming simultaneously. That's super important to remember. Um, and close out of any additional like web browsers that you have open, additional tabs. All of this will help to kind of relieve your system while you are live streaming and um, essentially even assist in, in making it a better quality video. So we're, we're doing good so far. And so if I go back to my add widget section and click video input once again, then I'm going to detach my video here. And um, let me see, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Okay, someone's, uh, hi, someone's actually in my chat room right now. Um, so this is what it's gonna look like on your Streamate chat interface and whenever you are using SM Broadcast. So what I like to do is make sure that I can see both my chat room and then go back here and let's find the video once again. Here's our video. So I can see both myself as well as what's going on in my Streamate chat room. 
Um, so anytime you have someone in either guest chat, paid chat, if you have also your sound notifications on, you'll hear like a, a, a ding, a sound, whenever anyone either enters your room, whether it's free chat or paid chat. So I feel weird. There's people in the room and I'm like talking and <laughs> not paying attention to them. So sorry. Um, so what I'm going to do now is actually X out of this and I'm going to stop my show. Um, and if we also recheck on the CPU usage, we're actually doing way better than we were earlier. So it's at 29. It's completely normal for it to bounce around up and down a little bit. Um, you know, just as long as it's not going like too high, then you're in good shape. But if it's sticking to like the same general CPU usage percentage, then there's nothing to worry about. Okay, so I'm going to stop my show now. Bye guys. Okay, so I've stopped my show. So my frames per second were fine. It was at, it's right at 30. There's nothing, it's not going down it, or it's not, it's not too. The biggest thing for frames per second is you don't want it to go too low from, apart from the initial setting that you had chosen. So if we had chosen um, 30 frames per second and it drops down to like 10 frames per second, that's like, oh, there's something wrong and we might need to do some adjusting um, on, 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 on this end. But it looks like we're, we're spot on where we need to be. So there's no problems there. But yeah, that's, that's streaming live on Streamate with SM Broadcast and also essentially troubleshooting. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe below and follow us on social media at Streamate Models to keep up with all of the latest and greatest on Streamate. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Okay, so for your live streaming needs, it's super important to have a good external HD cam. So whenever I say external, it means that it's something that's not already built into your computer or your laptop, and it is plugged in externally via USB cord. Um, so I am using the Logitech C922X Pro Stream Cam. It runs around $85 on Amazon, and I must say I absolutely love this cam. It has full 1080p uh, video capabilities. Of course, that's a bit overkill for Streamate. However, you know, bigger is always better, right? So um, I love this cam. Compared to the C920, which is our standard recommended cam, it's actually a huge difference as far as the video quality I've noticed. And um, yeah, I would say if you're looking for the next step up, then this is a really, really good option to consider.